Was that the ring that you gave to Hope before? I mean, I know you're a big environmentalist and all, but you're not recycling engagement rings now, Why too. are you here? I told you, Douglas wanted to the see The real that. reason. Does it really bug you that much, my son wanting to stop by? No, it bugs me that you think I don't see through it. <laughs> okay, man, you, you don't have to make that big a deal of this. Yeah, so we interrupted your, your upteenth proposal to Hope. You'll pick up where you left off as soon as we leave. Though I gotta say, when I walked in, it seemed kind of tense between you two. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. I got eyes. I could see it wasn't some carefree, romantic proposal. It seemed more like you were putting hope on the spot. I am not talking about this with you. Okay, sure. You know, you not saying anything, though, it's just gonna make me Damn wonder. Damn it, this is none of your business. The way you're reacting, it makes me think, did hope turn you down? I guess that's, that might not be the only reason, I mean, unless it has something to do with me. <clears throat> Look, Liam, I know how much you can't stand me and you don't want me in Hope's life, but the reality is me and Douglas will be there forever now that she is the mother to my child. She has custody. I wouldn't bank on that. What are you saying? No, no, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know. <clears throat> Okay, wait, hold on. You, you proposed to Hope with what? The the idea that she has to cut ties with Douglas and me? Is that... Liam, you know how much Hope loves it's Douglas, and you know how much my yeah. son needs hope. Glad you got to see her. You put her right to sleep. I gave Beth the goodnight kiss. That's great, bud. That's awesome. <clears throat> you can't do this, Hope. You can't do what Liam's asking you to do. 